Hello, welcome to another week of painting with me, Bailey Tilton. I'm super excited, as always, but because we're just a few weeks away from Easter, we're going to be painting these fun Easter eggs with some really cute designs that you can do on paper or if you want to take these and put them on your actual Easter eggs, that's totally fine too. Um, but just so you know, this tutorial is super easy, really made for any skill level, but I also want to share for anyone that is looking for gifts to put in the Easter egg baskets, I do have a floral watercoloring book that is perfect for spring. So if you want to put that in there with it, definitely follow the link in the description. Go check it out. It has 25 floral outlines that I actually have YouTube tutorials for 14 of them now. So um, yeah, super fun. I love painting with you guys and it's just a really great way to decompress and great for adults or for kids. So there you go. Um, but yeah, let's get going. All right, as you can see, I have nine eggs already marked out. So you can do that with your pencil first and then we're going to grab some maxing, masking fluid, um, or if you don't have that, a white crayon will do just fine. Um, but then we're going to do our white areas first. So we're going to start up in the left corner. And what you're going to do is do some lines down um, and kind of following the curve of the egg. And then every other section, you're going to be doing lines the opposite way. So if you're going to go up on the very left side, then you're going to be having the lines face downwards on the next, giving that zigzag motion. All right, so for this center flower, we're going to be doing these cute little flowers and you're going to grab your fluid and or your crayon and you're just going to be doing these little stems and at the top putting some really simple flowers. So I have put some with the petals just facing upwards, doing like four little loops on top. Or if you want to do your flower that you learn as like a five-year-old that still looks super cute um, and do five little loops all meeting at the center, then that is perfect too. You can see I have a mixture of the two different kinds. So do that and you'll leave obviously some space in the middle so that we can put some different colors in. So once you have that, we're going to move on to this pattern on the bottom. Really all you're doing for this one is a pattern of little dots following that same like arch of the egg. So you're going to do dots and then two lines and then dots and two lines until you go down the page. Super Really simple. So once you have that, the only other thing we're going to do with white is at the top right egg has little tiny like fun flower petals and you're just going to put some facing upwards and downwards randomly on the egg. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's get painting. This is super fun because pretty much all of these have a base layer and then we just add one or two more colors on top of that. So I'm starting with this pink and doing my bottom egg and as you can see I am leaving a little bit of space. I'm just following the shape that I've done but I'm not going all the way up to my pencil because I want to be able to erase it at the end. Okay so you can kind of see the colors that I've chosen as my base layers but I'm coming in and adding a peach color, which really I've just have red and a little bit of orange and I've diluted it down with water. So that's my color that I've chosen. And then I have a blue for my top left. And then I'm gonna be adding purple to my middle. And I do want to 
emphasize that I'm doing my diluted, more lighter colors first. So I have my purple coming in and then you can just do, we're going to do a light pink in the middle, that same peach color on the bottom middle egg, and then a light purple on the edge as well. So once you've done your base layer and we're going to let that dry, we're going to come in and add some more interest and color to our eggs. So for this middle right egg, we're just grabbing that same color of blue that we have for the top left and just doing like a squiggly through the middle. Just kind of having fun with it. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just being pretty organic with your movements. And then you're going to fill that in and just kind of bring in color where you're wanting some fun curves and then we're going to come in and add like a more vibrant blue to some of the areas to liven that up a little bit more just to be safe that we don't want to mix those two colors together we're going to do a purple down on the bottom right corner and i'm just mixing a darker purple that we can add to the dotted section so the masking fluid is really nice because it it works as a barrier between the two so you don't have to be super careful you're just kind of filling in the areas that this section with all the dots while we have this dark purple out let's just do the rest of where we need the dark purple and then we'll move on so for this other egg on the middle left side we have these cute little flowers where we're really just doing a dot in the middle of them and then five petals around around it. So really the only thing you need to think about is how you're going to take up the space. So you don't need to think about it too much. It's not too tough. In the areas that seem kind of hard, just do a few petals. You don't have to do an entire flower. But as you can see, I'm just filling in the space with the flowers and I'm not connecting the petals to the circle. I'm leaving that negative space. For this top middle egg, we're going to do something a little different than the one on the practice sheet. It's similar. It's the same type of pattern. The only thing is we're using one color and I'm just going to be doing these little squares. So you're going diagonally and you're going to do one row of squares all the way down. And then you're going to continue that pattern along the rest of the flower. That flower, gosh, <laughs> egg. Um, so then by the end, it has this really pretty but simple pattern of squares, diamonds, whatever you want to say. So now that our egg is finally for sure dry, I'm adding some vibrant blue around the egg that we started a little bit ago and really i'm just leaving some white space in between the color and then coming around and i'm just kind of filling it in how i want to so there's no right or wrong way to do this you can do what you think will look best um the only thing i would say is try to stay away from sharp like points try to make your lines and your shapes very loose and no points if that makes sense at all <laughs> hopefully you're getting what i'm what i'm putting down all right we have two more spots so we're adding blue the first one is down here we're gonna do these cute little leaves and i'm putting where the stems are first so you don't want all your stems to be pointing the same direction so you're just kind of doing random angles, curves as you go up the egg. And then you're going to come back and just do little dots throughout. So like usually one on top and then you just switch sides as you go down the stem. 
All right, so now we're going to move on to the top right egg. And really what you're doing is you're gonna do some random little petals like we did when we did the white. This time we're going to be adding some purple and then coming in also with some pink and red. So there really isn't like a pattern that I chose. I'm just trying to distribute distribute um, the colors evenly so that there's it's more appealing to the eye. All right, so we have this orange red and we're dropping it into the, the little petals on the middle egg. So again, you don't have to be too nervous because the masking fluid use it or it works as a barrier. So you just kind of are dropping that in and then once it dries, we're gonna rub it off with our fingers. So there's that. And then we're gonna move on to the bottom left side, which I love this pattern. I think it's so cute. So what we're gonna do is very similar to that top middle egg, but the opposite way. So we're following the arch of the egg on our vertical side. So you have the two lines and then you're doing same thing of following the arch as you go across. Um, but it's like a checkered pattern and you're leaving a little flower in the middle of the orange squares. Okay, last thing is if you want your vibrant blue that we used on the middle right to be added also into the top left, you can randomly put it in there. That's what I'm doing. But um, if you used white crayon, then that means you're done. If you use masking fluid like I did, we're going to wait till it dries and then we're going to rub it off. So yeah. Okay, so this part really doesn't need a lot of explanation. You're just rubbing it off with your finger and it leaves you with the cleanest, purest of papers. Unless you make a mistake like me and you don't wait till it's all the way dry for sure, 100%. As you can see here, uh, dang it. Uh, I definitely did not wait long enough. So learn from my mistakes and be patient. Maybe even like leave for half an hour or an hour, then come back and take your masking fluid off. Grab your eraser erase the eggs that you made and then you're done so thank you thank you as always for coming and painting with me i seriously am grateful for you so if you haven't already leave a nice comment tell me how you liked this tutorial um yeah i appreciate you thank you for your likes your subscribes your support in any way so have a wonderful week and I will see you next Tuesday.